and here is my latest novel, Mr. Tim. The name Mr. Tim refers to a 19-year-old who's, who's been in public school, but the money's run out. He's, he's had to leave early, and he's been thrust into land agency in the middle of Wales. Uh, he doesn't know the Welsh language. He has to settle in. Uh, there are wonderful uh, uh, sort of misadventures with man and beast over the course of an agricultural year as he makes his way among characters uh, who are, are, are in a way unlikely characters for him but finds kindness and wisdom in unexpected places. I mean comedy does hold centre stage but because this book is set in the 50s and that's important to remember, in the 1950s the shadows of war still extended um, and uh, Tim's particular family situation contains a tragedy which I won't go into now I, I, I'll let you find that out as you go along um, just going to read a, a section of the book where perhaps comedy comes to the forefront Tim's knowledge of French letters was limited to the incident at school when Ridian had acquired a dozen of the things and persuaded James and himself to raid the school chaplain's garden under cover of darkness. There they had filled them with water from the hose and hung them in the shrubbery. In the moonlight, they had looked remarkably lewd. In the event, it was deeply unfortunate that they had remained undiscovered until the following evening when some of the chaplain's cocktail party guests had decided to explore. The ensuing gossip had run the length and breadth of the school and beyond. Exeats and other privileges for the entire school had been withdrawn, pending identification of the culprits. Conscience had got the better of him, and he had persuaded Ridd and James to join him in owning up. The consequences had been dire. They had nearly been expelled, saved only by a savage beating at the hands of the headmaster, followed by grovelling letters of apology to the chaplain's wife. He had, at the last minute, decided to send flowers with his letter, which had drawn a reply from the lady suggesting that all hope of his becoming a gentleman had not been lost.